Now, I grew up eating ice cream, as many of my gen did, and I still remember the Neapolitan log, which was a log with vanilla, chocolate, strawberry ice cream, chocolate on the outside, and we used to slice it to serve it for dessert. It's just the best. I've tried my hand at cooking ice cream for many years, and more recently, gelato. But I wanted to make something today that was inspired by the day, because it's frozen and delicious, but that's really a shortcut all the way. Something quick and easy and just fantastic. So the idea for this recipe first came about when I wrote a piece for a blog on the topic of Kummerspeck. Now Kummerspeck is a German word that literally means grief bacon and it refers to actually the weight you gain when you're grieving or sad or something's going on in your life. And the idea is that when you're in those moments, you head to fried meats or bacon or whatever to soothe your grief, to soothe your soul. So I've created an ice cream that I think would soothe anybody's soul. It's the sort of thing you wanna make yourself a tub, grab a spoon, jump under the covers, just enjoy. So today I'm gonna to make my Kummerspeck ice cream, which is roasted peanut, caramel chocolate fudge, and Malteser ice cream. Let's dive in. I'm going to start with the chocolate caramel fudge sauce. We need to make a caramel. So to a saucepan, I'm going to add some sugar, water and glucose. Turn the heat to medium high. And once the sugar starts to melt, turn it down to about medium. So the sugar is dissolved. I'm just going to let it come to a simmer. And now I'm not going to touch it again. So you need to be a bit brave here because the colour of the caramel needs to be really deep and golden and it needs to be a step before burnt. So you need to start to smell this little, little bit of burning sugar and that bitterness is gonna come out which just takes the caramel to the next level. I wish you could smell it because it's telling me that it's pretty much ready. It's a beautiful deep golden color. It's really the smell. Carefully, please be careful, it's really hot. Put in a little bit of the cream at a time. The heat is on low now. Sometimes it does seize like it has, and that doesn't matter. You just keep stirring through it and it'll come out the other side. See, there's a big lump of caramel in there, yum. Don't touch it and don't worry. We'll come through this together. I'm gonna add the butter and the chocolate. You can actually turn off the heat now because there's so much heat in there. It's going to melt perfectly and slowly, just like that. It's getting smoother, more luscious, glossy, this is something you really literally want to dive into. That's it, a beautiful sauce. So the caramel chocolate fudge sauce has cooled down to room temperature. What you're gonna need is your favorite ice cream or gelato. So I'm just gonna chop it up. I'm gonna chop it up because um, I don't want it to melt, but I want everything to be mixed through. So I've made a single layer of the ice cream squares and I'm going to just sprinkle the goodness on top some roasted salted peanuts, some chopped Maltesers. Maltesers are great, they add just that element of multi crunch that you really need in this. Best part of all is this. I mean, does that define the word luscious? I think so. And I'm just going to drizzle it all over like this. And I just wanna combine it without melting. Yum. I could just really take this board now and go start eating it, but let's just remember, I don't want a chocolate ice cream. I want a vanilla gelato base, whatever you're using, with all these beautiful things swirled round. So it's just starting to melt, so I do want it in the freezer for another few minutes before I dig in. So excited. It's ready. Don't even need a bowl. You know when you have a spoon of something, and it's got everything you love in one mouthful. This is it. Smooth ice cream or gelato if that's what you've got. Roasted salty peanut crunch. Smooth, chewy, caramel, chocolate, multi crunch and crispiness from the Maltesers. I'm happy. And don't mind me, I'm just heading to the couch with this. Mm -hmm. 